flash. So the other day I went into my YouTube channel and saw that I had a new notification. I looked at it and I had two new comments on a video that was four years ago for some reason. So I checked it out and defeat your enemies. Uh, yeah, well, I, I basically agreed with what they had to say. But the weird thing was, is I looked at the video and not only do I not remember making this video, I don't even remember this gun existing in Destiny 2. So I thought, you know, it's been pretty boring, as you may be able to tell from my lack of videos, that I just haven't felt like making anything. So I'm just going to pull this out of the vault and see how it compares to possibly the most lazy video I've ever made in my life. I'll give this a second try and see if I can have a little bit more in-depth uh, analysis on this weapon. So basically, things have changed since year one of this game. And now we have a little bit more options when it comes to uh, perks on weapons and uh, just variability in general. Basically, the big selling point for me back in the day, you know, four years ago when I got this gun was it was full auto and that was cool. Now, uh, pretty soon that's going to be any weapon is going to be full auto. So this gun basically is just going to be completely uh, underwhelming as if it isn't already, but uh, I'm, that's neither here nor there. Basically, this was a, a nice glimpse back and a good comparison to see how far we've come with pulse rifles and just kind of the game in general. It's nice to be able to put mods on guns and have different masterworks and not have to roll for them and have just more than one perk in general, I guess. I will say, though, not the most stable pulse rifle. This is a little bit... Uh, a little bit hard to control the recoil in the the direction of it, I guess. Wasn't the worst one I've ever used, that's for sure. It actually wasn't that bad. It was literally just, it was full auto. And n nothing else to really work with there. But, you know, that's, that's fine, I guess. In fact, I actually really enjoy the model, like the shape of this gun. I don't know if there are others out there like it, but I think it looks nice and compact and pretty cool. So, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing a few more uh i mean i know they reuse models all the time but i wouldn't mind seeing like a nice good gun <laughs> with this gun model because i think it looks pretty cool actually um and so kind of segueing into the next part of this video is i'm using a year one pulse in this video and actually for the past couple days i've been using a lot of year one pulses or just you know early year two uh sunset pulse rifles that you know a lot of people don't use or don't have access to or you know uh you just don't really see them because much like the battle scar they have one or two perks and they're bad and you don't usually see them that often um but basically i've just been using them because pulse rifles have become kind of low-key new meta for various reasons and i'm gonna use that kind of uh that fact that I've been doing this to kind of segue into my whole thoughts on the absolute state of the Crucible at the moment. So staying along the lines of an increase in pulse rifle scene and more recently sidearms, I think uh, one of my kind of uh, gripes or just kind of like, you know, thoughts on the whole Crucible in, the ge in general is when we see buffs and nerfs and changes to just general um, how guns work. Uh, no doubt people are going to be trying these things that are most recently buffed. I, I don't blame people for that. They want to see if it's like the new thing to use. It's just um, the general trend to just play with things that are super strong because they are strong and easy to use. I know, I can't, like I said, I can't blame anyone for doing it. It's just uh, in 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 my opinion, for this game in particular, since it literally everyone says it's not a competitive game, it'll never be competitive, I just want to have fun. I want to use the guns that I like to use, which ever since D1 has been hand cannon and sniper. 90% of the time, that's what I use because that's how I like those. That's how I like to play. That's, you know, it matches my play style, and I like how those guns work. So that's what I like to use, and I don't like to just use what's easy kills you know i don't think it's fun i don't think it's satisfying to use i just feel cheap a lot of times when i do it but i'm not trying to put anyone down who's you know using something strong because it makes sense so it's just not for me 
um, go going on in the crucible right now, ever since 3.0, basically, we've been seeing an insane amount of ability spam, which is annoying. Uh, I feel like engagements are judged more so now on what abilities are up versus what guns are being used or like what uh, gunplay is being used. Um, some things in particular that I find very annoying are Child of the Old God, uh, the new Arc Solar Melee. I mean, uh, <laughs> Arc Solar, the Arc uh, Warlock Melee. Uh, invisibility is still running rampant. Uh, and people have always complained about invisibility. Now that uh, sidearms are being used more with the recent buff, Rat King's being used a lot, which makes invisibility even more annoying. I have started to see people now say that they think invisibility is too hard to see, which sounds like it doesn't make sense because invisibility should be hard to see, but it's to the point where it's almost too, too much, you know? Um, I don't know if this is particularly a problem for someone in the situation like I am with partial color blindness. I think it, it's very hard to see, and I wouldn't mind seeing some sort of change to that to make it just a little bit, uh, I guess, easier. I know that probably ruins a lot of the whole viability of invisibility, but it just seems like it's a little bit too strong. And uh, I don't know, I would like something to be done, but you know, I probably won't see anything like that happening. But anyway, that's um, a lot of basically how I feel about the Crucible at the moment. I just kind of wish uh, it's kind of just a mess, you know, like I it, it's kind of a challenge right now to have fun in quick play, which is kind of disheartening because when you just want to load up and just go, people are playing quick play like it's, you know, like their lives depend on it. I don't know if it's just my skill bracket where it's like. A slightly above normal, like a slightly above average, I should say, uh, where these people have like huge egos and they don't want to die and just want to rack up huge KDs. So they just sit all together and just like wait for a guaranteed kill versus just running out and seeing what happens, which is how I tend to play. Um, and, you know, it's kind of on me to say, you know, I'm getting killed a lot or whatever because of that, but it is also quick play. I want to just go and play. I don't want to be, you know, strategizing like a game of risk here to get a pick, you know, or something like that. Uh, we can save that for trials or comp or whatever. This, I feel like, should be uh, just go in, have fun. Uh, the leaving penalty is also annoying. Uh, some people may not agree with that and think that it's ruining the game to leave, but... I'll just say I've had way more fun since Clash this week started where I can leave a game if I need to and not have to worry about getting locked out. And I think Clash is just more fun than Control at this point. It's, I don't know, the matchmaking is rough. Uh, trials, keep it short. Uh, it's rough out there for a solo queue uh, if it's not a freelance weekend. I don't even know why I brought up trials in this conversation, but uh, it's kind of dying, and I think something needs to be done. I think we can get rid of elimination at this point and just make it, I don't know, a 3v3, 4v4 type of situation, and just, I don't know, I'm not a game dev. Something needs to change, though, because it's just really stale at this point. Anyway, I think going forward, I'm going to try to make some more videos again, because I have some time coming up, and... I think I might just focus on trying to have fun again in basically the only game that I play. So uh, I guess look forward to that. If you made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
regrets on that one. Well, folks, 